So this video is more or less about archiving what these headlights looked like when they were brand new because they are no longer manufactured in OEM uh, anyway. This is the right-hand drive version pre-facelift 210 style headlights. Um, and the way you tell that they're right-hand drive is you pay particular attention to the actual headlight area in this region here. You can see this pattern here with the angled ridges on this side. This is for right-hand drive. By comparison, this is a left-hand drive lens and you can see the angled ridges are on the opposite side. They are also new left-hand drive lenses. Um, I don't know what I'm ever going to use them for. And these are right-hand drive. So let's have a look at what they look like on the inside as well. So we can tell by the fact that it has this uh, vacuum port arrangement that these are uh, actually vacuum level adjusting headlights. I think that's most of the world. I think it's possibly just the USA that wasn't allowed to have the uh, headlight leveling adjustment, but I'm not 100% sure. It's always available in Australia anyway. Um, and yes, they do have the mounts still for the uh, headlight wipers, but they're not used on my car, so they will never get connected to anything. So let's have a look inside these trap doors and see what the original wiring is like when it was brand new, before it got baked by heat. So that's with those rear doors removed, and you can see that is that very unremarkable thin cheap wiring that is uh, well known for crumbling and failing on the 210 headlights. They really cheaped out and didn't even bother putting the um, heat insulating uh, fiberglass tubing over this cabling, which is really disappointing. And you can see the other side, it's exactly the same arrangement. And there's the, uh, the vacuum leveling adjusting thingamajiggy. There's a diaphragm in there and that pulls the uh, headlight up and down as required. So these new headlights do actually come complete with bulbs. No need to uh, go out and buy those, they're already there. GE brand, is it? I'm not familiar with that. Uh, anyway, that's um, that's what these headlights looked like when they were brand new. Sadly, you can't buy them anymore. Um, well, they don't make them anymore. There may be a few sets out there. I know the seller that I got my right-hand side one still has one of those left. The left-hand side, I think, is still easy to find and it's not too expensive, but the right-hand side one is a real nightmare. And... Um, yeah, that, that seems to have run out years ago, and the few that are left, you're going to have to pay a fortune for. And this is specific to right-hand drive I'm talking about. I don't know about left-hand drive. Possibly you can still get them, because in the right-hand drive world, we are the minority. Um, these left-hand drive brand new lenses were not even expensive to source, uh, and I bought them in error, so I will probably never use them. Unfortunately, the left-hand drive world is too far away to consider selling them from here, so maybe I'll just give them to someone locally that uh, doesn't mind driving with the wrong headlight lenses on their car. Um, anyway, hope you enjoyed this brief video. By the way, don't ask me for part numbers. 
If you need part numbers for anything on your car, you need to be searching by your VIN on the 210. This is more important than ever. There are so many variations that it is beyond ridiculous. And it's really demoralizing when you spend money and get the wrong part. So do not ask me for a part number because I'm not going to give it to you. Secondly, these things are like really hard to get. And I don't want the few remaining to just disappear like things have happened in the past when I've given part numbers for uh, parts that are running out, they just immediately disappear and then no one can get them anymore when they genuinely need them. So, sorry, not sorry.